what am I doing? Hey guys, welcome back. So I got a video for y'all today all about this palette right here. So super cool looking. This is the Bad Habit Beauty Cult Mayhem palette. So we're gonna chat about the things that we normally do in these videos. We will, actually I don't know the price of this palette yet at the time I'm filming this video. So we won't chat about that. But once I do know that price, I will list it down below for you. But we will look at the packaging on this palette. We'll look at some swatches on this palette. I will chat with you guys about the formula of these shadows and how they are to work with and give you my overall thoughts and impressions on this palette. And then I will also show you a tutorial on how I did this look right here. So yeah, let's get to it. So again, I don't know the price on it, but I will list it down below for you once I find that out. But as far as the packaging goes, this is what the outside box looks like. So pretty, just how it catches the light. This is a little bit raised in here. Even the back is pretty. And then the actual palette itself is just so, so pretty. I love the metallic-y look of this part. And then it's ripped. And then you've got the kind of bluish turquoise happening in the background with the super golden lettering. It's got this texture to it. It's just awesome attention to detail, really a pretty palette. This is what the back looks like, nice and weighty, super nice packaging on it. There is a mirror in here. So as far as what you get in this particular palette, so this says that these are all the pressed powder formula. So it says, welcome to mayhem. These 10 shadows feature our luxuriously smooth pressed powder formula. Apply using a brush for best blendability. For a more intense payoff, use a dampened brush. So all pressed powders in this one. So that is a different scenario in this palette versus the other ones from their Lux line. Forgot to mention that. This is part of their Lux collection, their Lux line. So all pressed powders in here. Let me show you the Mystere so you can see what is in this one. So the Mystere and the other ones have the pressed powders and also the baked powders. So the baked powders are those, those super glittery, shimmery ones, which are usually my favorites in the palette. So I'm a little bit disappointed that this one doesn't have those in it, but I realize that it's duping another palette, so that's probably the reason for the scenario being that way. But as far as the collection of colors of what you get in here, these are all shimmery. There are no mattes in this palette. So for me, that's a negative because I do enjoy when a palette is kind of overall kind of an all-in-one. Like I don't mind bringing in some outside shadows, but I tend to grab for a palette more and enjoy it more when it's got most of the things in it that I need. Like this has literally no mattes. So I definitely had to bring in some colors from another palette. I mean, unless you're going for a super artistic, all metallic-y sort of look, you could use this by itself, but typically you're gonna bring in some mattes and you would have to grab outside this palette for that. So as far as color theme in this palette, this is a very metallic-y palette. There's a lot of metallic sort of colors in here. A silver, a rose gold, pewter, pewter. This is kind of more of a greeny pewter, super golden gold, a super reddish um, copper sort of a shade, a deeper sort of a pewter, and then you've got these really cool bluish sort of colors, this one being more of a turquoisey teal blue. So it's just a very like melted metal metallic -y sort of a palette. So really a cool collection of colors in here. Now for some swatches starting on the top left side of the palette. This one is Chaos, Havoc, Dystopia, Turmoil, Disorder, bottom row of the palette, this is Strike, Temper, Avenge, Victory, and Suspicion. All very metallic-y. As far as the formula goes on these shadows and how they are to work with, overall I found them really easy to work with. They are all super duper pigmented, so no problems with pigmentation. They are all very soft shadows, so I would definitely use the minimum amount of product. I would tap off your brush for sure. I would use a setting spray. I don't think you need a setting spray for color intensity. They're already very intensely pigmented, but I would use a setting spray just to help kind of hold them together a little bit. Mainly a few of them that are more loosely packed. So there are some different things happening in this palette as far as that goes. Some of them are more loosely packed into the pan and some of them are more kind of like a buttery texture to them. Like this one is very loosely packed. 
This one is a little bit loosely packed. This one is a little bit loosely packed, but then you've got this one that is very buttery in texture. This one is nice and buttery in texture. So you've got some kind of different things happening. Honestly, this one right here, it's my favorite one in the palette probably, but I think it's the most challenging to work with because it is very loosely packed. It is very shimmery. So you do get some fallout, you get some shimmer where you may not want shimmer, but I mean, it is so pretty and metallic-y, so I still love it. So there are some things happening in here like that that you might have to tweak your application, but they just look so beautiful on the eyes. They're so super pigmented. I found them overall easy to work with. If I tapped off my brush, if I used a setting spray, you might still have to do some cleanup. I did still have to do some cleanup, but if you don't mind working with soft shadows, and if you don't mind working with those kind of different scenarios, the buttery metallic ones, that's kind of an easy scenario to work with. But that loosely packed shimmery shadow scenario, if you don't mind working with that, I think you'd overall like this palette. So my overall impressions on this palette is that I really do like it. Is it my favorite one from the Lux collection? I don't think so because I really, really like those glittery shades. I think those are just something special and something really interesting, but I actually ended up liking this palette a lot more than I thought I would. When I first looked at the kind of color scheme, I wasn't like that inspired or excited, but once I got them on my eyes and saw just that metallic look to them, that it looks like that melted metal, I really, really enjoyed it more. So I still think it's very fun. I think it's gonna come down to what kind of shadows do you wanna work with? What sort of finishes do you like in shadows? And do you like this color scenario? And I think the packaging is just super awesome. So it's just really cool looking. So those are my overall thoughts on the palette. So now we are going to get to the tutorial. Okay, so I've already applied some eyeshadow primer and set that. So I usually like to start with a matte crease color and there's really not any mattes in this palette. So I'm gonna have to bring in another matte outside of this palette. So you could either use your bronzer or if you have another matte kind of color in another palette, you could do that. So I'm gonna use the Arabesque palette and I'm gonna get some of this shade right here, which is Interlude. I'm gonna get that on a Bad Habit number two brush, tap that off, and I'm just gonna build this up in my crease and transition area. These brushes feel really nice and weighty, like a very nice kind of weighty sort of a, just a, a weighty feel to them. And they're very soft. This one in particular, did I say what this is? This is the number two? I think I told you that. Um, this one is a little bit large for my eye shape, but I mean, this is a very like common blending brush size and shape. So if you like these sort of blending brushes, I think you would really, really like this brush. What am I doing? I'm building up the color. I need more color. Okay, now I'm gonna take my Mayhem palette and I'm gonna get some of this shade right here, Avenge, so pretty, on a Chic Eyeshadow BQU105 brush. Gonna get that on that brush, tap it off, and then spray it with some setting spray and build this up all across my lid. I totally meant to use one of the Bad Habit brushes so you could kind of see them in action, but Habit took over and I used a different brush by accident, so oopsie on that. Okay, now I'm gonna get some of Temper on. This is a Bad Habit number five brush. Gonna tap off the brush and press this into the outer corners of my eyes just to get a little bit of depth and dimension. Ooh, those colors layered on top of each other are creating a really cool looking color, like a duochrome-y, I mean, they're already kind of duochrome-y, but like dimensional, really cool, funky looking color. I really like that. I'm gonna go back in with a little bit more Avenge on my finger to make sure I've definitely got that gold going because I want a very gold look. I wanna do kind of a dramatic winged liner, so I'm gonna get Victory on a Bad Habit number eight brush. This is such a cool shade because from some angles it looks red and then from my angle right here it looks kind of coppery, bronzy sort of, orangey, coppery, bronzy, so neat. So I am getting that color on both sides of the brush, tap it off, 
spray it and then I'm just going to build this up and do kind of a dramatic wing sort of a look. That's the plan. Just using a makeup wipe to kind of clean up under that line to get it more defined. I do have a little bit of fallout, but nothing super major. So doing those methods of, you know, using the minimum amount, tapping off, using a setting spray when needed really helps. Going back in with that original shade from the arabesque and just doing some blending up at the top of my crease just to kind of get a little bit more smoothness and blend to the whole look. This time I'm using a number three brush. Now I'm going to take some of Avant from the Arabesque palette and just clean up my brow bone. I really want just a little bit more definition to my wings, so we'll see how this goes. I'm going to get some of Temper on a Bad Habit number seven brush. And just get that along the very edge of the brush, tap it off, and then I'm just going to use a little bit of this on the bottom part of that wing kind of help define it a little bit more. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and apply some mascara to my upper lashes and I'll be right back to do my inner corners and also my lower lash line. Also going to clean up under my eyes a little bit. I'm using my It Cosmetics Superhero Mascara. Okay, and then for my lower lash line, I'm going to use a silver eyeliner and just run this along the lower lash line. Then I'm going to use this number four brush and get some of this amazing shade right here, which is chaos. Just kind of twirl my brush onto that to get it all over the end of it. Tap that off. I am going to spray it. And then I'm just going to go over that liner with this amazing silver. I'm also going to get a little bit of disorder on that same brush, just wiped it off. And again, spray it and apply some of this just in the very outer corner, just for a little bit of definition. And I am kind of bringing this out underneath that wing, just a tiny little bit. And then last step, I'm gonna take a pencil brush and lightly tap it into chaos, tap it off, Kind of tap it on the back of my hand. It's like I want to get a little bit of it, but I don't want it full on. So just kind of getting it, tapping it on my hand, and then I'm going to put just a tiny little bit of this on the inner corners of my eyes. Just a little pop of silver, but I don't want it to be as intense as the lower lash line. And now I'm just going to use some CoverGirl Clump Crusher on my lower lashes, and then also finish up the rest of my makeup. So that wraps up this video. So I hope that you really enjoyed it and I hope it was helpful for you. Please do a thumbs up if it was. Let me know down below what you think about this palette. What are your thoughts and opinions? Ask me any questions that you have. I'm happy to answer those. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!